Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm my cousin Ranger. Now the first thing I want to say is sorry for not uploading. I really should have uploaded much more. Anyway, um this is a computer craft tutorial. Always try to make do the basics along some of the add-ons for computer craft. Which in my opinion are very interesting to say the least. Let's get started into it. The first things first, you gotta craft a computer. Now, there's two types. There's a advanced computer and a normal computer. The advanced is obviously better. There's more functionality, a lot of colors too. However, the old computer is a lot cheaper. And the first computer is a seven stone, one red stone, and one glass pane for the basic. This basically allows you to you get started on it. It's pretty cheap, not much about it. Can't do much. The advanced computer has some gold ingots, or some dust, and the glass pane. That makes the advanced computer. It's a little bit more expensive, however, it's a lot better. There is a command computer, however, you can't craft that without a command block, which is... You never want to get it, basically. Which you're in current mode. Now, I'll just pockets computers. So, these computers you can hold in your pocket with do specific things. There's normal ones and wireless ones. There's no difference between the, between the few besides the fact that one has a wireless modem on them. For example, the wireless modem allows any computer to connect to another computer via something called RedNet API. I'll show that in a few minutes. However, basically, it's basically a computer as you can see, basic everything. All the functionality of it just in your hand, in your pocket. And also you can see in your hop bar or I see it's sort of blinking. However, you have advanced tool tips on which is F3H. And you can see which computer ID of it. That can be useful later, however not now. And first things first to add on computer craft EDU, that's the first one. Computer Cat EDU adds three things Beginner's Turtle, Mining Turtle, and Remote Control. The mining, the Beginner's Mining Turtle is relatively cheap. It's just any color of wool, one, one redstone block, and one chest. There is not too much about that besides, um, it's relatively cheap, it's made to begin with. You also need a turtle remote control, because you can't control these tur turtles without that whatsoever. And you just right click the remote and then right click a turtle. You get a small image from your face. If any eye, you can have that on as well. For example, if the turtle has. These turtles don't require fuel whatsoever, so it's good to start programming in. For example, basic API, this is basically what it shows on the remote tab. You dig, you get an error message. If there is an error, you can go up, right there, turn right, turn left. You also can see what the turtle sees as well. Which makes it really easy. Let's see, customize it such as color, decoration. You can go through it all the way. Then here's the programming thing. These programs are relatively easy to use. And also they give you everything they can do. So just you type redstone, place block, inspect, etc. etc. as well as as well as math. Example, if I see it, and this code's in basic Lua. All of this is Lua. However, if you don't like using this thing, you can do code editor. Which is basically everything it has. I want to have it into the right saying what everything does. For example, turtle dot uh, forward. Or turn, so, turtle dot forward. There you go. You also can run the program. What it does is it, it just runs the program. Now that's for the that's for some basics. So let's do peripheral plus plus. Peripheral plus plus adds a number of stuff. If you have any eye, you see it there too, but it adds a whole load of different things. It turns just the basic computer crafts like advanced mining turtle, digging, me melee, farming, and farming. It in wireless and also just crafty, but it can turn those into different outs such as XP. Navigational, chatty, player nervous system, and talkative, guarding, sharing, reading, finding the right, even the writable turtle, 
and musical and thirsty and a bunch of other stuff. What this does, what all of these things do, I will link to to a wiki down below in the description as well. Now for each of these things that the name says, also adds a bunch of other stuff nano blocks. Let's take the chat box for example. The chat box can be useful in a program. For example, CB, that's the variable. Equals. So that basically defines what the variable is. If you don't know what Lua is, this is basically some very simple coding and it's a very good in introduction to what coding is. Peripheral.wrap. Um, what that basically means is variables plus plus wants you to wrap any item or block from multiple mods. So let's say a reactor mod allows you to wrap a reactor core interface as it. And it can be very useful just getting data and making programs for and programming want to do. Now what the current thing does, we add to to prove that wrap. But this says it will ask for a side. We have to put the, the side in quotations in the preferences, such as left, right, back, etc. Then we do then we do the variable. Then we do dot say. Since this is a chatty chat box and the variable was plus mod. And we have it put in the parameters hello world in quotations. If we do run, hit control, also you can save, run, exit. Normal computers don't have the run thing, however, advanced computers do. If you click enter on run, it would say hello world on the, or the, the block location of it. This can be saved, however, it says where the block is set in the world. This can be useful for creating multiple programs such as OS's, like player noticing. You do a lot of things with it. Now, basic turtles. These things are the core of it. Any normal program needs to have these. Um, it was any any basically project you're gonna need basically has those. For example, let's say you want to turn this turtle into let's say a mining turtle. Then you do you equip. Quip is one of the many programs that come pre- each computer comes preloaded with this. And you choose a slot number, so you slot 1, and which slot is left. You see, if you do it, you do the same again, it will just swap the item out. However, let's keep that there. Um, as you can see, it changed the turtle, and you see the wireless modem, and pickaxe on it. This, this basically makes it block a, um, Advanced wireless mining turtle. But just do what this does. It can connect via red net any, anything. For example, let's see. Open a new program. Edit text. Here's a good name. I like to do it just for testing out anything. Now let's say um, turtle. Let's do red net. That open. Pick the sign again. Such as in quotation, such as right. I'll show you a better method of doing that later, however, that's not needed now. And in right now that open, we do right net dot broadcast hello world. In quotation, so that would broadcast any message you put in it. Now let's put this let's just put this computer all the way over here. A very big distance, right? And we do edit test breadnet dot open top breadnet dot dot receive. It will receive a message. Then now let's let's give the, this a variable. For example, local message equals what what. We can think, the reason why I put local in front of this is because we're defining this to a specific program. Local means it only applies to a specific program. If it's a global thing, any program would any program would just you can use that variable. Let's say edit test two and it has for message. It will use that variable. Now let's say we want to do message. Message, there we go. Run. Oh. As now see, you see, quick run, it gives you an error message. For example, 
four, line four, um, line fourteen, line three. That would not work traditionally. How would you print message? I was going to print the variable. I just didn't give it an error this time. This. Control T to start the program. I need to program like I'm going to do. Let's go back over here. We're going to that broadcast hello world. It's not put anything in chat, however. Let's go to this. It didn't do because I didn't put that in it, of course. Let's just run test, right? It will not put anything in chat until we do the thing. If we do this program again, go back over here. It said ten. It said five, right? Because we gathered. The way it works is it gathers a sender ID. Um, edit test. So sender ID. So it says sender ID. That basically mean that basically is giving it who's sending the message. Now we run it again. Broadcast again. Over here it says hello world. That's because it's sent printed the message. And that's a very easy tutorial on how to do things. I'm sorry if it's not what you wanted. I will be doing more tutorials on coding. Um, more add-ons, I guess. Because I need to find more, I guess. I want to tutorials on how to build stuff. But now, what's that? I'm not going to make. Sorry, everyone, for not uploading as much as I should have been. I've been busy with school. Now, since the summer, I'll be uploading a lot more. But thank you for Thank, thank you for being with me for this. And sorry for, again. However, until next time, I'm like a stranger. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.